Hi, this is Colleen with Mystical Dream Travel and today I am at the gorgeous Secrets Cop Cana Resort in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. This is an adult only, all inclusive resort. And we did shoot this video in October of 2020. So some of the footage you'll probably see some COVID-19 protocols that were in place during this time. Um, so let's go on a tour of the resort. Going to start off in front of the lobby where you'll get dropped off from your transportation from the airport and they're going to greet you with a drink. The lobby is beautiful. I just love all of the details in the lobby. Over here is where you will check in unless you are staying preferred club and then they would take you to the preferred club lounge for a VIP private check-in. Off of the lobby is where you will find the gift shops. There are several different gift shops to choose from. This one had clothing in it, bags, sunglasses. There was also a jewelry store. They have some really beautiful jewelry in there. This is the other side of the jewelry store. And there was a cigar store with local cigars and a store with lots of nice souvenirs that you could get that were handcrafted locally. And here's another larger gift shop that also had like sunblock. This is the business center. Um, if you need to fax something or print something, go on the internet for some reason, you could come here. And then off of that is the Coco Cafe. Coco Cafe is open 24 hours. It's the only dining option that is open 24 hours. They had lots of pastries, sandwiches during the day, fresh fruit, desserts. They have amazing coffee drinks here. They have some with alcohol in them and some without. They also had milkshakes. They were beautiful and all the coffee drinks make it for a great photo op. All right, so going back out into the lobby and crossing over to the other side. Also, the lobby was a great place to go at night. They had live music here most nights. A lot of people would hang out in the lobby. It was just a really cool, chill place to hang out. So off to the other side of the lobby is the Rendezvous Lobby Bar. There was a lot of nice seating in here too. I loved these seats that were kind of like in the wall. And the Rendezvous Bar was open until very late, so it had a lot of activity at night as well. And then off to the left of the Rendezvous Bar is where you would find Desires. Desires is a dance club lounge. It was not open while we were there due to COVID, but usually they would have live music and dancing in there. You have to check out the view from the lobby. It's just gorgeous. This was a great spot to sit and enjoy some coffee or a drink. Now we are going to go down and see what is underneath the lobby. So directly underneath the lobby, you will find the section that has the conference rooms and ballrooms. There are a lot of different size conference rooms slash ballrooms um, to have weddings in, corporate events, meetings, lots of space and then also down here is where you're going to find the adventure photos center where you can arrange to have a photo shoot on the resort which makes for a really great souvenir especially if it's your honeymoon they also would do wedding photography on the other side is the market cafe this is your buffet dining option for breakfast lunch or dinner while we were there, it was only open for breakfast due to COVID, but normally it would be open for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They had a lot of options. They had cereal and fresh fruit, yogurts, an omelet station, waffles, pancakes, eggs. Uh, they were not allowing you to self-serve yourself, obviously due to COVID. So they had lots of staff members in there to help you. So this is a really great casual spot to grab some breakfast. They had a lot of options. 
Um, they would make you eggs pretty much any way you wanted them. Uh, usually they would have an ice cream station over there. And this is just showing some of the seating area. It was just very pretty, very, very airy, and um, just a really pleasant place to hang out in the morning for breakfast. Okay, now we're gonna go outside and see the other dining options. The first one is Himitsu. This is the Teppan Yaki restaurant. You do have to come at 6 p.m. when it opens to put your name down for a Teppan Yaki table if you wanna do the Teppan Yaki. Otherwise, you'll just have to sit and order off the a la carte menu. I do recommend the Teppan Yaki. That outdoor Teppan Yaki table is awesome. The teppanyaki is really the draw here. I wouldn't recommend coming and doing just the a la carte menu personally. Next to Himitsu is El Patio, which is the Mexican restaurant. They had a taco bar here and then also an a la carte menu. It was really great. It's open air dining. It had a really great vibe. And then next to El Patio is Bordeaux, which is the French restaurant. This is a really elegant restaurant. Uh, would be great for celebrating your anniversary. The presentation of the food was amazing. Sometimes they'll have a live pianist in here. It was very elegant. And then next to that is Portofino, which is your Italian dining. It was absolutely delicious. Probably the best meal we had while we were staying was at Portofino. Also a really nice, elegant restaurant atmosphere. And then if we go on to the left side of the resort, that is where we are going to find behind that, that first building is where you're going to find the spa. Um, and the spa is pretty large and it's set back away from the rest of the resort. It's very peaceful and relaxing. They had a lot of different spa treatments to choose from. They also have a full service salon where you can have your hair cut, colored. Uh, you can have it done for weddings. They can do makeup. They have manicures and pedicures. And the spa itself has a ton of different treatment options and this is the locker rooms where you would store your stuff they had changing rooms showers a place to get ready after your treatment this is like a sitting area to hang out in while you're waiting for your treatment you also get access to the hydrotherapy circuit when you're having a treatment or you can pay to just do the hydrotherapy section of the spa if you want if you don't want a treatment you can just do the hydrotherapy which was really awesome. They had a cold plunge pool, a hot plunge pool. They had all different kinds of water jets, steam rooms, saunas. The, it was really uh, nice. Like I would go and just do that. Um, this is a treatment room. I had a mud wrap done. It was just very relaxing, very peaceful. Next to the spa is the fitness center. The fitness center is a really great size. They have a lot of different kinds of equipment in there. And the resort does sometimes offer different fitness classes. Sometimes they'll have fitness classes in the pool or like yoga on the beach. This is the preferred club. I could not go inside this because it was closed due to COVID, but normally that would be open for preferred club guests. And that's where you would check in and check out. And they also would have snacks and stuff in there. So this is the preferred section of the resort. This is the preferred club pool. So only guests staying in preferred club rooms are able to use this pool on this side of the resort. Um, it had nice, nice, cool little hidden hot tub surrounded by trees, which was nice. Just kind of showing you some of the swim up rooms, just beautiful landscaping and vegetation all around the resort. You really felt like you were in like a tropical oasis. The preferred club pool was very quiet, uh, very peaceful during the day. There's also a restaurant over here called Rose Water that is just for preferred club guests and Rose Water would be another option for breakfast, lunch, or dinner for the preferred club guests is a nice swim up room. I just love the look of those. This infinity edge pool overlooks the beach and you can just walk right down to the beach from the pool area. 
This is the preferred club section of the beach. So there is a section of the beach that's reserved just for preferred club members. These rooms with the infinity edge pools overlooking the beach are just amazing. Tons of seating on the beach, lots of umbrellas. They have beach service. There are people coming around all of the time asking if you want something to eat or drink. So you can see there's kind of like a fence separating the preferred club section of the beach from the main part. So this part of the beach is open to the entire resort. There was this cool Secrets Cap Kana sign made for a really great photo op. It's a huge beach, lots and lots of space, lots of seating with umbrellas. The beach is beautiful. The sand is white. It is soft and powdery. It was definitely one of the nicest beaches I think I have ever been on. Sometimes there will be seaweed on the beach, but they would come around pretty much every day with a special truck that picked the seaweed up. So the seaweed was never on the beach for very long. Just beautiful, beautiful views everywhere you looked on the beach. And this is a little spot where you could have a private candlelit dinner. There were lots of little romantic spots all over the resort you can arrange these private dinners at. Those are an additional charge at night. They would have a fire in that little fire pit there. And then the Barracuda, that is the beach bar. And then this is just another building on the non-preferred section that also is beachfront. And this is one of the main pools that's also Infinity Edge overlooking the beach. This was one of our favorite pools to hang out in. Also lots and lots of service over here. There was always someone coming up and asking if you wanted something to eat or something to drink. It was just amazing how much they pampered you at this resort. And then uh, next to the pool is where you would find Seaside Grill and Oceana. It kind of shares the same building and half of it's Oceana, half of it's Seaside Grill. Oceana is the seafood restaurant and Seaside Grill is the steakhouse. Seaside Grill was also open for lunch during the day and it was really, really delicious. And then there are two other kind of pool sections to the main pool area. And there's a swim up bar, but the swim up bar was not open while we were there, um, of course, due to COVID, but normally there would be a swim up bar. As you can see, there's like this like infinity edge in between the two pools. There was another bar, as you can see over there, it just wasn't a swim up bar. And then beyond that bar would be where the Barefoot Grill was. Barefoot Grill is a lunch option. They do burgers and hot dogs and chicken wings and that kind of thing. It was not open every day while we were there. Um, I don't know if that was due to COVID or just because there wasn't as many people at the resort. And here's another hot tub that is again hidden by a bunch of palm trees. I loved that. And another view of the lobby. Now showtime is the theater and that is located to the left of the lobby. And in the evenings, um, pretty much every evening except Sundays, they will have some kind of a live entertainment in here at night. Uh, we saw a couple of different shows here during our stay that were really amazing. They had a burlesque show, they'll have live music. They had a kind of Broadway play style show, lots of seating, it's really comfortable. Concludes my resort tour of Secrets Cap Cana and beautiful Punta Cana Dominican Republic. We loved this resort. If you've been to this resort, I'd love to hear in the comments what you thought of this resort as well. And if you have any questions about this resort or any other all-inclusive resorts in Punta Cana or Cancun or the rest of the Caribbean, please reach out to me at Colleen at MysticalDreamTravel.com. The link is in the description of this video and stay tuned for 
lots more resort tours and other travel tips on our channel. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.